So this is just a simple um, demonstration on how you can do a live, a live lesson using Google Slides and an application called Screencastify. Um, Screencastify is this little button up here in the right hand corner of my screen. It has a little arrow tool with a circle on it for recording. So that's the button for Screencastify up there. And Screencastify will record your screen. And it gives you these pen tools that you see down here so that you can write on your slides. Now, if I want to navigate between slides, notice that when I'm clicking my slide, I'm getting a bunch of red dots. Let me click my eraser and erase those red dots. I need to choose my arrow tool to change slides. But notice what happens is when I draw outside of the slide, that ink doesn't disappear. Let me go back to my previous slide. Only the stuff I write in the slide stays inside of the slide when I move from um, one page to the next. So when I get to this next page, I do want to erase this. Uh, I could hit this square to clear everything on the screen here all in once. And now I'm ready to work out my problem. I'll go back to my pen tool and choose my ink color. And we want to find the measure of angle JK. We know we have to add J to K to L to M and set it equal to 360 degrees. We'll replace each of these with their algebraic representation. And then we would go on and solve for X. And then we would plug X back into J to get the answer. Measure of angle J equals. And we would do all of that work for them. Um, and they would have this example that uh, we did a lesson and recorded it and posted. Now, this is an example of a slide that was pre-prepared. I put the image in in advance with the question in in advance. Um, let me go down to my mouse tool so I can go to the next slide. This is just a blank slide. Uh, we can add these live as we're talking. If we find that we need more room, uh, you just hit the insert down the list is new slide. And what you do is just click on the title bar. And once it highlights like that, hit delete. Click on the content bar, hit delete. And now you have a giant whiteboard. You hit your pen tool and you have a whiteboard to use in the web for your presentation. Everything we're doing is being recorded by Screencastify, and we can handwrite our lesson and narrate it as we're um, discussing everything that we want to convey to our students. We can annotate uh, if we had images to, to load in advance. Maybe you have it for a history class. Maybe you have a battlefield map. Maybe you have a uh, for sports. You have a playbook that you want to go through. So whatever you want to apply, you can do this live in the web. And just taking a slide, and when you insert it, you just delete out your title bar in your content bar and you have a giant whiteboard. So those are just some tips that I thought might be helpful. Uh, it's an easy way to use uh, Google Slides as your virtual whiteboard and the Screencastify app. Now the only thing we have to say is if you're using the free Screencastify app, the free version only lets you do five minute videos. I found that that is not long enough for me to do any type of a presentation. Um, many of my presentations are between 12 to 18 minutes. So I bit the bullet and I upgraded. The upgrade, I believe it was like $45 or $50 for the year. And it gives you unlimited time with the video. So unlimited recording time. But what was even nicer 
what came with it is it has a video editor and it's live in the web and the benefit to that is because we're working with everything live in the web from our recording to our video editor it is much quicker than if you had a quick time recording on your desktop and you had to edit it in iMovie and then upload it to YouTube or however you managed your video recordings after that. This is everything's in the web. The processing time was much faster than any of the other methods I used. So for me, I found that it was worth the upgrade because the upgrade was a time saver. So that's a, a call that you'd have to make if it's worth the, you know, if you're going to do a lot of uh, video tutorials, if it's worth the investment. Um, I found that it was so that I got more than five minutes of recording time and the video editor was a great tool. I think they did a good job with it. Uh, you just need to spend a little time to learn how to use it, but it allows you to split clips, to merge clips. They don't have to be clips done with Screencastify. You can upload clips from your desktop using um, QuickTime or whatever your screen recorder is that you're using, and you can upload it to your Screencastify account and use their video editor for that as well. Um, I hope this instructional video was helpful. If you have questions, uh, send them my way and we can meet together and, you know, work some things out and see if this is the best tool for you.